So I remember after the summer of my um, freshman year in high school, I finally began to socially and medically transition. And so I was going by Janet, I was taking hormones, um, I was living my life in my true identity and my true gender. Um, and so when I returned to school in the 10th grade, we had a back to school kind of assembly for sophomores. And I remember it was my turn to go on stage and I was finally confident in the way that I was presenting. I was wearing clothes that I chose with a name that I chose. And I stood on that stage and grabbed the microphone and reintroduced myself as, at 15 as, as Janet. I acknowledged to my classmates and to my peers that um, you know, I know that you all knew me in a certain way in the ninth grade, but this is who I am now, um, and I'm one of your class leaders. And that was probably the first time that I truly um, you know, revealed who I was on a public stage um, and really just kind of owned who I was. When I look back, you know, that kind of self-assuredness um, still kind of stuns me because I couldn't imagine being a 15-year-old standing on such a stage, going through these life experiences and this shift in my life and standing there and kind of telling people um, to follow my lead and to respect my name, my pronouns, and my gender.